Man, these boxes just don't stop. Oh, and look, I've picked up two more. And whoa, this is just bursting at the seams with these maples. I must have gone crazy on these Libertads. Here's some more 2022 Libertads. And boy, I wish I had more of these. So lucky to have this piece. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Bullion. I hope all of you had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and a Happy Holiday Season. Well, these are my latest packages. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up if you find it enjoyable. And please share it with some of your friends. Let's get right to it. Okay, this is wrapped in a very nice bubble wrap. Oh wow, look at this. This is a 10 ounce bar. This is a 10 troy ounce bar. 0.999 fine silver. And look at that beautiful eagle on there. I can't seem to remember the actual mint that produces this 10 ounce bar, but it comes in this packaging that's a little bit oversized, keeps the silver nice and unblemished. And this is a very beautiful 10 ounce bar to add to the stack. I've added a lot of esoteric things to the stack recently, including quite a few American Silver Eagles and Libertads, but it's also nice to continue to stack solid weight and 10 ounces of 4.9 silver is definitely a great starting point. We'll just put that right there. Next, we'll open this one. Okay, I'll just have to dump this out. Okay, we've got five, ounce, five ounces of three nines fine silver. This is a JBR bar, three nines fine. And it looks like I picked up two of these. So this is 10 ounces total. These JBR bars are nice. They're five ounces, a little bit smaller than the 10 ounce, but the weight feels really good. And I love the little designs on the back of these bars. Those are certainly fun to look at. And I think they're gonna be fun to stack as well. I don't have a lot of five ounce bars in my collection, but I'll go ahead and set these right here. That'll certainly get me started in the right direction. Oh, and look, I picked up two more. So this is 20 ounces total of these bars. These are very, very beautiful. I'll go ahead and just put those like that. That way you can kind of see the front of the bar and the back of the bar. And of course that's now 10 ounces, 10 ounces and 10 ounces. So we're looking at 30 ounces total there. These are some beautiful Libertads. Of course, many of you guys know, I love my Libertads. I got these at a very solid value. And so I have quite a few 2022s already. And it's nice to add a few more to the stack, particularly when I got these at an excellent, excellent value. This coin comes from Somalia. And yes, I'm touching it with my hands, but it came out of a slip, so it's quite all right. This is an African wildlife elephant from Somalia. This is one ounce of silver, and it comes from the Somali Republic, and it has a denomination of 10 shillings. So just being very careful just touching that on the side. This one's in the flip here, so as you can see, I actually have two of those, so that's another two ounces to add to the stack. Next, I'll go ahead and open this. Okay, these are some coins. And as you all might know as well, I've been on a steady diet of one ounce coins. And I bet these are either going to be Britannia's or they're going to be Canadian maples. And as you can see, this is a Royal Mint. This is, I think, Britannia's, and there we are. So there's about 10 Britannia's in there. Those are great to add to the stack. I'll set that right there. 
And I'll go ahead and open this. I think SC went ahead and sealed these for me once I purchased them. And whoa, this is just bursting at the seams with these maples. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful maple leaves. Okay, there we are. Okay, these are 20 Canadian maples. Okay, these are a bunch of Canadian maples right here. And I do believe I still have some more to still open, but it's really nice to always add some sovereign coins to my collection, to add some Britannias and add some maples. Next, we'll open this manila envelope and see what's in here. Excellent. So this here is another 2022 Mexican Libertad. This is a great coin to add. I'll put this right here next to its fellow Libertads flip. And this is another 1999 Britannia. This is a beautiful 1999. I've loaded up on the 2022s. I've got a few 2023s but it's great to have a 1999. And some more 2022 Libertads. I'll set those there. I must have gone crazy on these Libertads. Here's some more 2022 Libertads. This is the obverse and this is the reverse. And I've got another one in a slip here, so. I'll just add these Libertads right here, just to kind of complete the set. And we'll get the Smalling Elephant coins right here. Perfect. And boy, I wish I had more of these. This is a 1 4th ounce 2023 Silver Britannia. And you can see the Queen there. And this is 1 4th ounce 2023. I'd love to have some of these in my collection. You know, I haven't really gotten into the junk silver, the constitutional silver. Some might say that's a deficiency to my stacking, and it very well may be, but certainly if I could add some of these fractional silver pieces, like these 1 4th ounce silver Britannias, that would go a long way to kind of getting me into the game with the sub 1 ounce silver. So I'm grateful to have this one. Hopefully I can find some more to add to the collection at some point. And I'll sit that bad boy right there. And finally, this is a crown piece in the collection right here. And I don't want to really take it out of this just yet. But this is an owl and it's made by John Hyatt. So lucky to have this piece. So this is a signature of John Hyatt, 12-9-2022. And this is the Certificate of Authenticity. And as you can see here, it's an owl geometric. The weight on this piece is approximately 1.93 troy ounces. It's three nines fine, it's a prototype. And when I saw this come up in the auction, I said, you know what, this is gonna be great for my daughter. And so I just went ahead and just bit it up. And thankfully I was able to walk away with this beautiful piece. Uh, John Hyatt is quite the artist when it comes to poured silver. He's got great designs. Many of you all might have some of his designs in his collections. This is my first piece and it's a spectacular one at that. So very honored to actually have that piece in my collection and look forward to Hopefully getting some more pieces from Mr. Hyatt in my collection as time goes forward. So that's what we've got for today, guys. We've got the 10 ounces of four nines fine. We've got four five ounce, five troy ounce silver bars. We've got a bevy of Libertads. We've got at least 20 Canadian silver maples. We've got at least 10 Britannias. We've got a 1999 Britannia. We've got a 2023, I'm sorry, we've got a yeah, 2023 one fourth ounce Britannia. 
And we've got these beautiful pieces here, these one ounce pieces from Somalia. And it's the African wildlife elephant, one troy ounce, and that's four nines fine. The beautiful piece from John Hyatt. So it's a pretty good haul today. I think these are great pieces to add to the core of the stack. And as I move into 2023, my goal is to further refine my stacking, get pieces that are going to be more fundamental to the stack, building solid weight and building quality weight. And for me, quality weight are very solid bars, five ounce and 10 ounce bars, great quality weight as well, are coins. As you can tell, I'm more into the coins than the rounds. And I love my maples and I love my Britannias and I can always get more of those. It goes without saying, I'll pick up as many Libertads as I can get my hands on. And I was able to get my hands on a few more of these today at a great value. So this was a great haul. And I'm very thankful for all these new pieces to add to my collection. If you've enjoyed this collection and if you've enjoyed this unboxing, please consider subscribing to this channel and please give the video a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, please share with your friends. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. Be blessed and keep stacking.